Welcome to the program. Today we will discuss a range of controversial issues in South Sudan. Among them is the video of the Minister of Defense, Ajilina Tenj, in which she was portrayed as if she was telling SPLA-IO soldiers to leave the joint military training and join the SPLM-IO, which is the political wing of the main harmed opposition group. Despite the fact that the video was manipulated, some succumbed into the idea that Angelina Teng has given up on the SPLM-IO soldiers and has become a part of the dictatorial uh, regime of President Salfakir. Let us take a look. The minister was speaking to the soldiers in a training camp in Eastern Equatory State and was telling the soldiers that the role should be to defend the country, to defend the nation, South Sudan, and not to involve in internal politics because having an army taking sides in politics always leads to instability as it happened in 2013. So let us take a look uh, on the full video of Angelina Ten and what she was actually telling the soldiers. It engaged the Dora Kabir Gidden, Ashan, Nina, Nagayir, and the story Nagayir a Tarif, Nagayir a Suma, Unajib, Chakil Gedit, Suma Gedit, Nasukunu for Hurindu, Karama Nana Kalamta Anu Gibel. Allah <laughs> that is exactly what the minister was saying and what we need to do is to keep our eyes open uh, because uh, fake news are all over the internet uh, especially in a country like south sudan and do not only threaten our peace but also the confidence that is being built by our leaders let us take a break and then uh, when we come back we will discuss the next issue which is the lack of development in south sudan Welcome back. Another issue that we are going to discuss today is the lack of development in South Sudan. Beginning uh, from our independence in 2011, our leaders have not uh, delivered the development that they promised before independence. During the war, uh, they told us that they will deliver services uh, to uh, our people. After independence, they dragged their feet on their promises on the pretext that South Sudan is a young nation. Afterward, civil war broke out in 2013, and since then, the leaders, especially uh, those who were in Juba throughout the war, have blamed the conflict for the lack of development in the country. Let us take a look. 
deliver services to the people which we promised them during the war. Now, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, our leaders have come forward again and complained uh, that they cannot deliver services uh, and they cannot even implement the peace agreement because of the coronavirus. So let us not be surprised when our leaders come up again and tell us that if it was not because of the coronavirus, we would have devolved a vaccine for COVID-19. That is all for today. Uh, and don't forget uh, to, uh, to visit our YouTube channel to subscribe to receive our next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.